Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are here once again with TJ, and as you may or may not know, and if not, I guess spoiler alert, we are a part of the Golden Knights. Our Memorial Cup run was lackluster, and yeah, we ended up only having one draft interview, and it was the Golden Knights, and here we are. So I'm actually quite satisfied with how that went. I'm looking forward to playing for the franchise. So on that note, time to request a trade. Just kidding. But uh, I did notice Max Patch ready here. I haven't even uploaded the Be a Pro 2 yet, but yeah, there's Max. I don't know how that happened but he's still here. Shouldn't be. I'm not sure if maybe he somehow ended up back here because of the way trades work and it just happened to be that the Golden Knights traded for patches. I simply don't have a good answer for you, but we're here now and from our perspective, I mean, it doesn't really change too much, honestly. Our team does have a very nice top six. Gotta love to see that. And then Theodore Petrangelo, a great top two. Amazing defensive pair. We're gonna be backing up Robbie here in the cage at the age of 18. We are not in for the season opener, which not surprised whatsoever. Ever, didn't really expect to be Chicago's up next and this reporter means we're probably starting you went from the draft floor to being drafted yep fair going through the preseason now it's time for your NHL debut it sure is let's go ahead and get it done I don't want to piss off management because I do want to stay here so I'm going to try to just fit in as much as I can not even reading the answers because it honestly doesn't matter the only thing that matters is like the pluses and the minuses on the right side there now we got a conversation with our coach I need you to prove that you'll be able to stand up to the pressure out there no promises but I will give a fit in answer again to try and boost up some of those numbers you know even if I'm not playing so well maybe they'll give me a second chance because they just like me <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works but we don't even deserve to be in the NHL and here we are so maybe conversation with a fan. Is that new? I don't remember that being in the game last year. I can't wait to see Jimothy in action. My fave new player, no doubt. Okay, well, uh, these both give the exact same. It is a storyline where we have the chance to get X-Ray and we need to play on this team for five years. Holy crap. All right. All good fans want their favorite players to stay on the team long term. All right, well, doesn't matter which answer I give. So I'll just give this one, I suppose. You're awesome. Thank you. I wish YouTube was this wholesome. Actually, sometimes it is, so thank you. Both teams are one and one. I can only imagine that the simulation's probably gonna bully me. But let's see, first period. Ooh, okay, that's a great start. Second, we take that all day. 26 shots and only one goal? Absolutely. But I'm very confused because I swear throughout this entire BIA Pro so far, there has been one single game where we have not jumped into a third period down by one. The sample size is small, I'll give you that, because this is only the third episode, but still. Come on now. All right, time to let in four more goals and hope that our offense can get something going, which I really don't know if they will be able to. That is a big hit. Kessel gets dropped and he is Hoyt. It's going to be a scrap now. I wonder if I can scrap as well. Can I go scrap their goalie? Make this a bit of a line brawl, if you will? I doubt it. I don't think it'll work. So we might just have to watch up close and personal. Yep. All right, Petrangelo throwing blows with Jones here. Goes for the uppercut. Jones will dodge it. Oh my word, that's back-to-back -back dodges. He does connect with an uppy though. Another one? I think we're going to lose this fight. It's not looking good. Yeah, Alex, you gave it your all, but your all wasn't enough. When he was skating off the ice there, he was actually kind of holding his head like he was hurt. So that could be something else new. I have no idea. Let me save my first regular season NHL shot. Another big hit and another injury. Holy crap, the Golden Knights, man. We are a wrecking ball out there. And I... Love that. I hope we continue this physicality. It is actually believable that the Knights traded back for Pacioretty because of the fact that Phil Kessel is already on Chicago. And I think I saw that they had Andrew Kopp as well. So yeah, the moves in this game continue to be wild. Good draw win by Eichel. He steps in. Oh no, the post. That is very unfortunate. Would have tied it up. And that would have been a very, very early tie up as well. But alas, it was not meant to be. We are still down by one here, and the clock is still sort of our friend, but it is slowly becoming our enemy. I swear I turned all this on-ice training off. There we go. First shot's a save. I already consider that mission successful. Another one. Thank you for being there, Theodore. I appreciate you. Passes it around. Oh, no. Oh, no. That goes directly to Cop, who goes in front. Kane's got it now. That's another glove save. Thank you very much. On-ice trainer. Yeah, I turned all this off. I guess it didn't save. That's weird. Or maybe... For some reason, it automatically turned it back on. I don't know. But yeah, turn it all off. Let's get that draw win back. Uh, not exactly what I had in mind. I'll make that save. There is no safe pass there. So for the first time in my life, 
I will hold on to the puck. We're getting dominated in the dot. Like, holy crap. Can we win a draw? Ah, that tip. And is he going to get the rebound? Yes, he is. Another stop. Chandler's got it now, though, and he will get it over the blue line. Nice breakout here from the lads. Oh, we almost had a shot in the slot there, but not quite. Here comes Rask. He's in. Theodore will break it up. Love that. Great defense. Oh, yeah. All day. All day. Let me change the camera so I can see what's going on here. Ooh, maybe not the move. Never mind. That was the move. What a play. Roy goes in the middle to White Cloud. And that was a seamless breakout. I gotta say, we have clearly been practicing that. Taylor Radish. Haven't heard that name in a long time. He goes in the middle. That will also be steered aside. Not gonna hug the post because that's a rookie mistake. All right. That was also a rookie mistake, but it worked out in my favor. Not a bad third period so far. Not a bad third period at all. But Kane's looking to change that. I knew he was going that side. I kind of cheated, which... I mean, it's not a good idea because they normally destroy me when I do that. They do the little fake shot and then I bite hard and they just go the other side. Easy goal. But let's go! A rebound will come down to Patches, who I have no idea whether he belongs on this team or not. If it's the roster or whatever. But like I said, we're in too deep now. And that's going to tie it up in the third period. Let's go, Golden Knights. Yeah, Stone walks in, takes the shot, and Lion tried his hardest, but his hardest just wasn't enough. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah? I don't know if Patrick Kane would ever have a shot like that in his entire life, but it worked out to my benefit. So I'm going to go ahead and just say I believe it. I don't think I've seen any of those desperation or last effort, whatever it's called, moves yet, where they get hit and sort of still make the pass or the shot or whatever. Don't think I've seen it. Free team play... You guys are free over there. Oh my word, Shay Theodore. Can we not do that next time, please? Kyra goes for the pass down low, but Martinez gets his twig in the lane. That would be a phenomenal breakup on what would have otherwise been a very threatening scoring chance. What a hit! Holy crap, dude. I hope we keep this up. I really do. Two on O, and Chandler won't be able to handle it. Another good chance, but Chicago's netminder keeps it out. And keeps this game at 1-1. Down to the two-minute warning. Hatcher Kane is in. Is he going to go for the pass? No, he will not. He tried to cut into the middle, which would have been terrifying. So I'm very happy our defense shut that down. Imagine Patrick Kane right in the slot. Just winding one up. No, thank you. Cop. Oh, it goes for the cross crease. But again, the defense are there. They're doing a great job for me right now. I don't know if they're playing a little extra defensive because I am kind of stinky back here at 71 overall or whatever. So maybe they are, but I appreciate it. No, 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 no. It's not a breakaway. Great back check. You legend. He does get the shot off though, which somehow almost found its way in the net. That would have been devastating, but truthfully would not have been surprised. Let's get it to overtime. Let's get it to overtime. Thank you, Marchiso. Our first NHL game is headed to extra minutes. There's been a lot of big hits in this game, actually. I haven't really been paying attention to Chicago's, but they've been there. They have been there. There's our goal to tie it up. And to send this thing to overtime. Holy crap, they have 36 shots. Coach is going to be very impressed. Just kidding. He's probably still going to tell me I'm Cheeks and that I could have done better. Ooh, nice try by Cop. My goalie did not move. What's going on? What the heck is going on? <laughs> what was that? Two posts in a row. Just casually, you know. No way, dude. This goalie is... Well, I mean, to be fair, those first two did hit the post, so wasn't really him saving it. But anyway, he saved that one. Here's Kirby. He's in. Oh my word, I did not see that pass coming. That was actually very clever from him. He's going to try to take a shot there, and the puck will be sent down the ice. If we somehow manage to go to a shootout in my first game, I will be distraught. Incoming flying poke check for every attempt. Oh no, he's in. Flying poke check! Get it started early. Fire me up. I thought that was going to go five hole for a second there because I made the little movement and the the pad lifted off the ice. Thought it was game, but thankfully it was not. Ooh, what a save. Pass it over to you. You are wide open. That was on Kane too? That makes it even more impressive. Well, this is just marvelous. My first NHL game is going to be a shootout. Not a fan. All right, Kane, show me your moves. Show me your moves. Flying poke check. Did that go off my pad and then the post? Why do we get this camera angle? Also, why is it 10 frames per second? I'll try not to flying poke check everything. All right. Yeah, there we go. Get out of my face. Stone, he's in. Okay. 
All right. That was debatable. But anyway, here's Cop, who will be the third shooter for Chicago, has a chance to give them a lead, and he fails miserably. So now we can take it home here if we get a goal. Come on, boys. He's in. Over the blue line. He goes back and... No, not quite. It really just absolutely flies to the next person, eh? During the actual game, there's a million cutscenes and stuff that you can't really skip, and then... What a goal! I don't care whether we traded for him or if it's just the roster being messed up or what. I'm down that we have patches simply for that. What a goal. I didn't even really see where he put this. So he came in, did the back skate, puck continued moving forward. I mean, kind of went back for a second there, but referee did not see it. He's going to bury it. All right. Very decent. 38 saves in our first performance. 94% for saves. How do you not get 100? I didn't let in a goal. I don't think. Did I? No. That was... A sim goal. Congrats on winning in your NHL debut. What are your thoughts? That's a good question. What are my thoughts? I felt prepared from the start and the team was ready to go. So I had nothing to fear and we did our best. It was amazing. That's a fairly solid answer, I suppose. Fit in. What are the options here? Okay, so we get teammate and management. Teammate or management. I'm going to go with both and lose the brand, I suppose. 4-0. and oh, We are absolutely insane. And why do I say things? Every time I do, we lose. Every single time. We have been set to start against the San Jose Sharks. I believe I'm just going to sim past this one. So let's go ahead and see how we start here. That's great. But they only had four shots. Okay. I mean, not the end of the world. Ooh. All right. That got out of control quick. We need to talk about how you've been playing so far. This game, man. I don't understand how. I'm, I have a 909 save percentage and I've played two games. You want to chill out for maybe half a second? So I was tasked with winning two of the next four games. I am going to simulate this one here against the Senators. That's a good start. Eichel on fire so far. Ooh, tie game. Maybe we'll jump into this one and then... Wait, why is Robin Leonard in net? Did I get hurt? What's going on here? Leonard just got lit up, but now I think I got injured. All right, this is more like the YouTube I know. At this point, I think they should just grab a fan from the stands. Okay, so let's... How about not do that? This would be pretty funny, but I can't do it. So I'm just going to not respond, I suppose, because I do not have an option. The Sabres simulate this one as well. Carlson gets on the board for us. They have 26 shots. We are being big time outshot. And somehow we take a 2-1 W. That's got to be a first star goaltender performance, no? Yes, sir. Take that, fan. Love that Petrangelo is out there without a twig right now. Big game coming up. We really need you to step it up. Okay, chill, dude. I've been playing fine. Why is everyone so... Is, I don't know the word for this. Accusative? That is not a word. But everybody's pointing fingers. They're like, oh, you're 18 years old in the NHL as a goalie? That's sick and all. But how about you carry our team to a Stanley Cup and stop being such an idiot? I also just made a promise to post a shutout next game. Like, that happens... Once, twice, maybe three times in a year, I feel like. Well, that's just splendid. So now I have multiple promises, both of which will not be met. So I believe our two promises, well, we still have the one where we have to win two of the next four that we are in for. And I think we went 1-0 and so far, unless that other game was part of it. Then maybe we went 1-1. and But now we have to get a shutout, pretty much, and win. Which, I mean, if you get a shutout, you kind of win. That's the only way we can meet both promises. Okay, we're off to a good start here. They do have 16 shots, and we can no longer meet both promises. However, if we win, I believe we still meet the reporter's promise. As long as we don't let in a goal in the third period. Okay, go on. And a shootout? Ah, oh, you're kidding. That was legitimately a first or second star performance, and here we are, being scolded. Yo, there is so many meetings. Oh, yeah? All or nothing? Which one is the better one here? Never had any doubt, coach. I know what I can do out there. All right, well, they give the same result, so let's be a bit of a dick this time, just because we can. And we unlocked a trait point, so let's go to the skill tree and see what we have here. I can't really do a whole lot with one point by the looks of it, so that sucks. Angles are probably important, so I'll go ahead and buy this one. Positioned. One new ability and one new slot unlocks available. Hello, are we getting an ability already? I think we just might. Yeah, we do have one. We actually got all or nothing somehow from that. Decent. And then for x-ray, we have to stay on our current team for six years. So that is a little bit of a commitment. So now our poke checking is better, which I am very hyped for because I try to use poke checking quite a bit when the players get up close. It's the best way, honestly. Otherwise, they're just going to destroy me. Do I have to make another promise here? You've been doing great out there. Any thoughts? Okay, well, 
I don't know if I do have any thoughts about it, but I'm down for the ability. I see those future rewards there. So they all have a future reward of sponge, and one is clearly easier than the other. Achieve an 890 and get a shutout. Achieve a 900 and get three shutouts. No thank you. Why would I sign up for that when I could easily do the 890 and a single shutout? That seems way, way more achievable. The Seattle Kraken will be our next matchup. We are in for this one and I will be playing it, assuming we're not getting wrecked. And no, we have a 2-0 lead going into the third period. They have 29 shots. No idea why I'm simming so well. It genuinely doesn't make sense. And I don't need it to make sense. I just need it to keep happening. I don't expect to get a shutout this game, but what I do sort of hope happens is we still win. <laughs> and I know that seems crazy. It's not at all. Trust me, that is a very reasonable thing to be asking right now. If you've watched any of my former Be A Pros, you know where I'm coming from. Nachushkin. Oh my word. That was close. Nope. I dropped a butterfly. I'm learning, guys. I am learning. In the middle to Susie, that will be stopped. Theodore there for the rebound, which I appreciate. Rebounds are deadly. If they come out, they're probably scoring. I have not seen enough massive hits yet in this one. Looking to have our team step up a little bit here in that department. I think it's reasonable to ask for that. McCann, yeah, there you go. Told you. What did I say about rebounds? That. The fun continues. We are headed to the penalty kill. Nicholas Roy going off for slashing. Not ideal. What an undisciplined play. We've got this, lads. Great. Draw win. That was not what he intended, but it actually kind of worked out. Went to dump the puck down the ice and sort of got interrupted. But there was another player right there who was able to send it down for him. Maddie Beneers headmans the puck. Seattle Kraken are coming back here. Gord is in over the line. I was expecting a big hit there. Didn't get one, but we did get a big save. Ah! Oh, my word. No. No! What even happened there, actually? He went for the behind-the-back pass, which Hag sort of picked off, and then what What ensues after that? Okay, yup. He grabs it, goes to the back. He didn't even go to the backhand. Did he take a shot? Is this a shot? I don't know what that is, but somehow it manages to go five-hole. Amazing stuff. Remember that request I made at the beginning of the game? Starting to look a little bit more reasonable now. Jared McCann takes a shot. That almost went high short side. We are getting dominated all of a sudden. What the heck happened? Is there anything I could have done there? Like, I don't know. In the comments, let me know if there's anything I should have been able to do there. And we take another penalty. This has got to be one of the biggest third period collapses I've ever witnessed. Incoming second power play goal. All right. Guys, I'm having so much fun. I just want to keep playing this game out forever. Also, this just in. Valerie Nichushkin has the best shot in the world, apparently. It's better than Patty Kane's because I cannot save it for the life of me. I passed that out even though it was an awful idea. Nice. It's about time. We are headed to the power play. Hayden Fleury going off. And that gives us two minutes on the man advantage. Which I'm most excited for because that means I can get some team play up by going behind the net and making passes. I need to make up for that lack of saves category. Did they have a lot of shots? I can't remember. Let's go around the boards there to patches. And Stone's headed off for slashing. Four on four. This has been an abysmal third period. Alright. That's a goal. White Cloud in front of the net. Missed the first attempt there. But picked it back up. And it goes pinging in. That's a post goal if I've ever seen one. In front it goes. Yeah, you kind of whiffed on the first one, or the defense had him, and then defense just left him <laughs> in front of the net, and then he comes by and just elbows his goalie in the mouth. What is that all about? We aren't totally done yet. Okay. I actually saved one of those. If players are behind the net and they walk out, it's wraps. Normally, they score instantly. I managed to save that. I don't know if it was with the blocker or the right mini wheat, but either way... It wasn't in the net, so that is the important piece of information there. This is getting out of control. Stone, what's going on, dude? We need to sit down and talk. Are you okay? I would say that that virtually erased any chance we had at actually tying this up. Unless Seattle somehow takes a penalty and we can make it a four-on-four. -four, or we just score shorthanded. No, instead we're going to go offside. Other than penalties, I don't think I've been pulled once in this game. Did they change that? One more shot, that will be stopped, and maybe get some team play there, but 
Not a good third period. A <laughs> four goal third period. Oh, they had 44 shots though. So ultimately, I still did all right in the grand scheme of things. Saves, yeah, we didn't do so hot. But I think we were pretty close. Okay, yeah, and you know what? We actually weren't so bad. Yeah, we had a 909 save percentage. 4 JA is not great, but, you know, just don't look at that stat. Look at the other one. There's a great band playing the night before our game. Want to join us? Now, remember what I said to coach. What did I say? If I can do so responsibly, it's going to be a great time. Absolutely, save me a ticket. <laughs> oh, we don't have tickets yet, eh? Yeah, guess what? I'm probably going to pay for it, aren't I? Yep, of course. Alex, you do realize that your contract is public knowledge, right? You know how much you're making versus how much I'm making? Maybe next time you could grab the tickets. And now we make another promise that we got to win three of the next five, which is a little bit more tricky than two of the next four, which by the way, we failed apparently. Well, we've hit our milestone. We're about a third of the way through the season. A 924 save percentage, 2-2-0 two, two, is our current record. With a record of 15-10-3, we're first in the Pacific Division right now. That is very splendid to see. I didn't see that coming. In the league, that seats us at eighth. The Tampa Bay Lightning on fire right now. They have 40 points points through 26 games this guy's going off he's almost point a game 26 points in 27 games and then Radulov that first line is just not working Eichel has 16 points he's a dash four what is up with that hey coach how about we stop you know ripping into me and start looking at some other things here it's not rocket appliances just look at the stats and see hey not clicking. Both goalies doing pretty well though. Letter 13, 8, and 2. He has two shutouts already, a 925 and a 228 GAA. So yeah, we are definitely carrying our weight back here. All right, well, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one, and that will be another third of the season. So in the next video, we will find out whether we are on pace to be a Stanley Cup team. Well, Stanley Cup playoffs team. Maybe not so much actually winning the cup, which even if we get in the playoffs the first year, I'm not going to be the starter anyway. So it's just going to be a simulated playoffs. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. On that note, I'll see you soon.